guys i have a great product for all you movie lovers who are demanding guys to have a calibrated display to have a accurate colors well this product is great i calibrated my uh, tv my multi moon monitor post production studio set i uh, even calibrated my notebooks and i got to tell you i have all the colors the same now all displays are the same and when i go to the post production set to have a um, different color no all colors are the same and thanks to this product which isn't that expensive it's a great price easy to install and easy to calibrate so today we're gonna do a review for this product as unboxing let's take it out and we have a um, software desk which you will uh, install uh, the program uh, instruction manual you won't need it it's very simple to use basically you got to hang up this device on your monitor and uh, if it supports Windows or Mac you will install the software and uh, I don't know in 10 minutes the display is calibrated automatically you don't have to do anything this is what I like this product and um, as a, a courtesy we'll uh, talk about after we'll make the test and I will show you how it works as you know guys i have a multi display here in the post production studio and i want to make an accurate color so first install the software it's on the disk i think it will require uh, to install to download the software which it will download um, by itself i dimmed just a little bit the color and let's see next next install uh, yes, this is the software it X Write Device Services Manager Setup. And now you got to restart your computer. It requires, and I will prepare while it's uh, restarting. I will prepare the device. And now hang out this Color Monkey Smile product. And uh, if you are sensing that it has a distance and it's not uh, tight. To, to the monitor you can bend a little bit the monitor it's not a problem you will see here and uh, it will guide you to insert it uh, directly on the marks that uh, the software has it's very very simple and intuitive now after you start the software it looks like this and you can calibrate all your monitors and for example I have three monitors here I calibrated uh, all three of them and now you can click start or choose whatever display you want to calibrate it will sense the multi display and uh, it will ask you and you can switch to whatever display you want to calibrate just press start for example i want this white display to calibrate and you got to put this color monkey smile product right in the marked area and press begin the process it will be I don't know uh, maybe 10 minutes I think I saw in other versions I don't know if this is a newer version but I saw 30 minutes it, it takes well in this uh, new software or in this new product you got to expect yourself to 10 minutes to calibrate a display which it's pretty generous remember not to bring in the front or uh, do anything uh, because this software of the color monkey smile it's on top of other application and um, if you are bring a window or any color under the color monkey smile product and your display it will uh, not be able to measure correct your color so it in this process is measure all your colors and it will do a calibration on the rgb scale it would be a great job if the product um, showed the manual how to calibrate your display in rgb for example and it will be a great calibration for my uh, tvs or uh, something else that don't have windows or mac to install this software
and it's ready. So now we have before and after. Let me get back to the monitor, take out the calibration device and uh, now let's see before and after. Before it's like this. Uh, sorry, let me dim more light. So now before and after. Before and after. So I can see the differences at uh, the color of the light. It's gently warmer. Uh, for my personal taste, I uh, prefer the Arctic white or the white 5800 Kelvin. So uh, this Arctic white and daylight are my preference. This is a little bit warmer, I have to say. This is uh, the Arctic white that I like and this is the warmer. Maybe the manufacturer tried to warm up a little bit the colors, but they are pretty accurate. Um, or it's my sense and I get used to that Arctic white. And looking to this nice picture now, well calibrated, I got to say the mountains are looking very awesome especially those top of the mountains it's that perfect white the greens are okay if you are looking carefully you can notice just a little bit of warm now guys go at screen resolution and i will teach you a trick to advanced settings to color management push color management and you have some profiles so now guys these color profiles uh, you will find this is LG Ultra White and uh, this is the profile just made. I made before a uh, calibration that I like. I don't know how I succeed but I obtained just a little bit the to Arctic White and not that warmer. I don't know how I did it. And um, I think this is perfect for me. Just uh, more white than the... Uh, more yellow and uh, I will keep this profile with 302 as a default um, You cannot sense I switch now to the warmer profile now I cannot know that these are the real colors because I work with this monitor with uh, arc that arctic white that uh, now is difficult for me to know notice the reality the real colors and tell you that these are real colors but for my personal taste i uh, will keep the test before which is more whiter more perfect white more 6000 kelvin if you want my opinion um, 6000 and high 500 it's uh, white blue uh, so between uh, 5800 and 6000 Kelvin you will find a perfect white so if you are looking now it's uh, the basic color that monitor came from the factory and then I forgot to tell you an important thing do a factory reset of your monitor or do screenshots with uh, the mobile device to remember what the, what settings did you make and if you are formatting your Windows computer this is a nice tip for you you can save this profile so um, save associations um, I don't know, test, Gali, calibration, so now when I click save, the next time if I will format it or something uh, happens to the windows, I can load the associations. Of course, do not keep this uh, save on uh, your windows uh, partition. Um, and then after formatting, you can load this uh, settings, let's see test calibration okay and uh, the settings are back on uh, your screen and now you can load whatever profile you will like and for example I want to load the Photoshop and uh, show you guys a perfect white image and I I gotta tell you that I believe and I don't know precise if my eye uh, distinguish between the that Arctic white and this white which I believe it's a little bit warmer and I don't know which color is uh, more real but I like what this uh, this product this uh, color monkey smile made I think these are the real colors 
I don't believe it's 100% professional because um, calibrator, a color calibrator for monitor, it's more expensive. A professional one, it's uh, somewhere in the, I saw these calibrators somewhere near to the $1,000. And uh, another thing, guys, is that if you want to use, guys, a real professional monitor that costs $2,000 uh, at least, you will gain uh, more accurate calibration. So for this, I don't know, good monitors, white gaming monitors, it's very good to use. I will use it in uh, the Photoshop. I like the colors. Now my uh, photography will be more accurate. Of course, I calibrated my monitor uh, before, but this, uh, I think it's this product, it's more accurate and I obtain more good colors in the calibration. So if you want uh, more white colors, I dim to 70% from 100 at the manufacturer set the default of this monitor and uh, I can calibrate it, uh, I can rise the brightness and obtain more white colors but for now I'm telling you this it's uh, it's great I am very pleased with uh, with this calibration so guys I hope you like this uh, tutorial review tutorial of this product if it helped you leave us a comment please and uh, subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and reviews guys have a great day see you guys bye